So uh, this is for the Spanish wine lovers out there, even the, or those who have not yet gotten into Spanish wine. But uh, we were just about to open up uh, a, a nice bottle of uh, Spanish red. This is one that's from uh, the region called Jumilla. Uh, looks like uh, in English, like Jumilla. And uh, Jumilla is in southeast Spain. It's a dry region on the Mediterranean. And uh, it has, uh, it's really known for the, the Monastrel grape, which um, is uh, known more outside of, uh, in the U.S., as the French version, which is Mouvedre. Um, and that's uh, pronounced, that's how uh, we oftentimes know it in the States. And, uh, but uh, my Spanish is much better than my French. Uh, so, in, in uh, and I think that you might enjoy this one if you like big red wines. It is a... Normally very, very plummy. Let's go ahead and open this one up. We've got dinner guests coming in about 30 minutes. So we're going to get this one started. And just looking at that, the uh, color, this is just a really, in, really, really dark, dark red, almost getting to, going toward purple. And... Um, the first thing I'm getting, and it still needs to open up, but it's a, just a lot of very plummy aroma, and I'm, oh, it's, it's nice, really nice. Now, if I, normally I like to leave, let this breathe for at least 20 to 30 minutes. This is a Crianza uh, from 2008, and it's a mixture. It's mostly Monastrel with a little bit of Petit Verdot and a little bit of Cabernet. And uh, we're going to have this uh, actually doing a... We, with uh, some really uh, the acorn-fed Iberian uh, cured ham, uh, some tapas, and uh, some cured cheeses, and then we're going to have uh, the uh, few other things. I think people are bringing over maybe some sushi and things like that. And this wine can hold up to uh, all kinds of food. So I really uh, want to encourage you to check out the wine. Check out the wines from Humilla. Uh, very good price points. Um, and in fact, there have been 90 plus point, uh, come on, Robert Parker picked uh, wines in the past for under $35 uh, in the States. So uh, I think I saw that in California and also in New York. So that's all from, uh, from Spain. If you want to discover Spanish wine in person and experience an incredible, fun, uh, educational adventure, rewarding yourself for all that hard work you're doing right now. Uh, check us out at MagicalSpain.com. We're into uh, what you're into, food, wine, uh, you know, luxury travel, and also uh, we can offer sports options and fitness options as well as art and uh, meeting people that you wouldn't meet on a normal mass market uh, type of, uh, of uh, tourism situation. We only do three trips a week. And you have to like wine to like our trips. If you don't like wine, please go to the mass market companies who will give you uh, the uh, other stuff. That's all for now. Daniel Byrne, MagicalSpain.com. And I uh, hope to see you in Spain. Nos vemos en España.